we talked about four different views of how to really understand the book of Revelation. There's preterism, historicism, idealism, and futurism. Right. We argued for futurism here. However, um, preterism is a is a view that is gaining more steam in our in our uh, in our current context Correct. of uh, evangelical or reformed Christianity. Correct. So, question for you: what What is preterism? Let, let's start with that. Preterism is coming from the Latin term, which basically refers to past. So, basically, what preterists are saying is they believe that most of Bible prophecy, including New Testament prophecy, was fulfilled in the first century particularly fulfilled with the destruction of Jerusalem in AD 70. So therefore, passages about a coming Antichrist, tribulation period, day of the Lord, the sorts of things that you see in Revelation 6 to 19, they believe that was all fulfilled in the first century leading up to the destruction of Jerusalem in AD 70. So according to them, when you're reading like the Olivet Discourse of Matthew 24 and 25 and Luke 21 and Revelation 6 to 20, you're basically reading history you're reading what's in the past whereas we as futurists would say no most of the Olivet discourse was discussed in revelation 6 to 20 and beyond that that is that is future that's why we would be futurists but but basically it's it's a it's a view that most prophecy has already been fulfilled in the past so and there ends up it being a couple divisions of that i won't go into too much depth but but usually those that are preterists do believe there is a future second coming of christ we want to be clear on that although there are a few that actually believe that that even the return of Jesus and all its dimensions occurred at the time of the, uh, you know, of the time of AD 70. And, and some preterists don't believe there is a future bodily return of Christ, which is a very serious view. <laughs> the when, um, so when it comes to preterism, what is it that made you say, you know what, I just can't, I can't hold to that view? Yeah. Well, the first thing would be is there's so many things in the Olivet Discourse in the book of Revelation that haven't been fulfilled yet. <laughs> so the, abom the abomination of desolation in Matthew 24, 15, that hasn't occurred yet. The cosmic signs of Matthew 24 haven't occurred yet. The regathering of Israel uh, for salvation and restoration after the abomination of desolation has not occurred yet. Uh, Matthew 25, 31, when the Son of Man comes to glory with all of his angels, then he's going to, you know, he's going to sit on David's throne and he's going to bring the nations before him. That hasn't occurred yet. When I, when I look at the, the seals, the trumpets, and the bull judgments of Revelation, they're so global. And I think that would be another thing too is, Preterism oftentimes links fulfillment, everything concerning Jerusalem and the land of Israel, but there's so much global catastrophe described, like in Revelation 6 to 19, that there's just, there's just no way that was fulfilled in AD 70. So we do have to acknowledge that there, are, there were significant things fulfilled in AD 70, and, and Jesus talked quite a bit about AD 70, but there's so much more. So I just find preterism too, too limiting. There's, there's so much that's going on a global cosmic level. We can't just make it all... Jerusalem and the land of Israel in AD 70, because there's a lot more going on. And there's also the date of writing for the book of Revelation. Yeah. <laughs> in order for preterism to be right, um, Rev the book of Revelation had to be written in the 60s, which is highly unlikely. Uh, so, uh, you know, the, the, the testimony for most of church history has been that the book of Revelation was written in the 90s. And if it's written in the 90s, then it it can't be the, the fulfill. It's talking about future things <laughs> that are to come. So if it's written in the 90s, preterism can't be true. So one of the things about preterism is the whole entire system, in order for it to be right, you have to have a very unlikely dating of the book of Revelation, have it being written kind of in the mid, in the mid 60s in order for preterism to be true. So if, if that piece of the puzzle is not correct, like if Revelation was written in the 90s, like most, most theologians and church historians have acknowledged preter preterism can't be right. Hey, thanks for tuning in to our Redeemer YouTube channel. If this is helpful for you, please make sure that you like this video, smash the subscribe button, and hit that bell icon. It will help us reach more people with biblical truth. Thank you so much.